Hello guys, welcome to my last video in this series making a uh, pick and place vacuum pump. So this is where we left off in last video. Um, I just compiled everything. I just soldered everything to the board and I tested it with the six volts on the uh, output of the voltage regulator. And uh, so the next thing that I'm going to do is install the vacuum pump. So I'm putting this small foam rubber patches as a kind of uh, vibration damper or you know shock absorber for uh, for a pump, and uh, I just glued it down with a double tape, and uh, I will I will fix the vacuum pump with a with a zip tie like the rest of these components. So I just need to remove this small part of rubber in order to have the in in, in order to inst install the screw. Uh, I don't know. Did you notice I put this wi white standoffs? Uh, so I'm preventing you know the capacitors on the bottom side uh, to be touching the uh, the case. Okay, so I have tightened all screw now screws now, and I will tighten the the zip tie. And after this, I will just solder solder these wires uh, powering the pump. I forgot to put regular powers. These were just supposed to be testing wires, but at this point, I'm not going to be you know bother bother to take everything off. So I'm putting back this short circuit switch uh, instead of um, instead of uh, instead of a switch. And now I'm plugging everything. 220 volts outlet power and uh, I will do the same test uh, so I plugged everything in and now I'm testing it the same way I was testing it when, when it was plugged in 6 volts voltage so I'm just short circuiting the short circuiting the foot switch and it seems to me that everything works fine so the next thing I need to do is you know put the holes into a case to mount the power and switches and connectors and stuff so here I'm mounting, I'm, uh, you know, punching a hole for um, for a power connector, and I'm just doing it with the with the drill and several files, and it fits perfectly. It's okay. It's a Hammond case. So the next thing I'm doing here, I'm just uh, putting, uh, placing a hole for a um, for a switch, and I do it with eight millimeter. Uh, 8 millimeter uh, drill bit so I need to file it again after drilling and uh, after a few minutes of drilling it's uh, you know soft plastic so it, it it fits okay so let's start to work on a on a case I need just to test our uh, you know the switch and the power power connector are they you know touching each other or something and I'm using just two lugs of this uh, switch, so the third will not be used. Uh, yeah, here I'm just soldering wire to to my power connectors and putting some uh, shrink fit tubing over it using my hot air gun. And uh, I will do the exactly the same thing with the, with with the switch on off switch. So I'm I'm just soldering soldering a wire to it and putting a shrink fit tubing after I put this shrink fit tubing I need to take care of this third lug because it will be live and the switch is off and I don't want you know this protruding in my case so I'll just cut it off okay so this part is completed and uh, the next thing I need to do is to put this indicator LED diodes three of them so this is you know uh, mounting case for LED diodes and also I need a connector for a foot switch so yeah I'm just choosing some that I have at home and yeah these should fit yeah they fit perfectly together so uh, I will drill holes uh, here with one millimeter drill this is just the starter hole for uh, LED, LED diodes all three of them and I will complete the holes with eight eight millimeter drill bit so once this was completed I drilled the hole uh, on on a side for a foot switch connector 
and I need somehow to connect these cables to uh, to a PCB so I will use this crimp terminals well I thought I had uh, I had crimp tool for this exact terminal but no I the other the other that I have are different so I'm using this kind of uh, universal one and it's good enough for you know this small quantity I did only eight uh, eight uh, I crimped only eight wires here so you need to do it twice first you crimp the connection to crimp terminal then you need to crimp this that this piece that goes around you know the isolation so this well it's not perfect but it's good enough and I plugged it into these uh, female connectors that I have at home and they perfectly fit this uh, 0.1 inch uh, standard uh, strip standard strip boards strips so yeah I'm fine with it uh, this is power aka uh, foot switch connector and uh, I've just soldered the wires to it and shrink fit it so it doesn't come, in, come into a contact. And uh, for lead diodes, I kind of did the same thing. Uh, I pulled off these lead diodes from some other project that I had before, so I just soldered the wires, sold the wires to them, and then I just shrink fit, uh, you know, shrink fit tube over it, uh, heat shrink it, and uh, I did it on all three, all three LEDs, and uh, so the green one will be for power, red for foot switch, and blue one for reduced power. And I just put this uh, mounting, uh, well, sleeves or how do you call it, over it, and just plug them, plug them back in. So this should work perfectly. There's no, they fit perfectly to eight millimeter hole. And if I if I need to, I think I can push them back again. Okay, so the next thing I, I need to do is um, I need to check this foot switch. Is it uh, which which wires are are connecting? Uh, which wires are switching? So it's a red and white wire pen, apparently. So I will just solder because I, I will I will use this as a foot switch and I need at least three or four meter of cables. I have a big desk over here, so I I will put it all over all around the desk. So I need at least three meters, three and, and half meters. So I solder it, put some shrink fit, uh, you know, tubing, and um, this kind of shrink fit has a glue inside. So when you heat it up, it actually glues the cable, and I think that's good. So. Also, the green stuff that I have here is similar one, so the glue oozes uh, beneath it when you heat it up, and uh, I need this to be firm, you know. On the other side of the cable, on the other side of the cable, I use this power power connector, male power connector, and you know, the process is simple. I just uh, solder the you know two terminals to wire. And then I put a shrink fit, uh, shrink tubing, uh, heat shrink tubing, and just screwed everything together, and it it works fine. I think this will, you know, be sturdy enough. Okay, so all the components are now, you know, fitted together. So I need to put my case. I need to put my case and plug everything in so foot switch is already plugged in and all three LEDs and yeah everything fits into a case a bit tight but yeah it fits so I will do just one last test uh, after this before I put everything together and screw down uh, screw down uh, a case this enclosure so Okay, I switched it on so you can see the uh, uh, green light, uh, green LED goes on, and also the pump is working in solenoids perfectly. When I uh, when I let uh, when I let go the foot switch, it you know shuts down immediately. So I think you know this will work. Uh, I think this will work uh, perfectly. So I've screwed everything down, and I will have one last final test. So I'm thinking of also placing rubber feet, rubber feet on it. So I'll, I'll do it later. Um, I will put 220 20 volts uh, outlet there, 
and the next thing you need to do is switch the power, switch the plug in the foot switch after plugging the foot switch the last thing I need to do is connect my pick and place pen and let's switch it on and choose uh, well I, I had on my desk this uh, 12 uh, fellow six components that I've used during soldering uh, these few resistors so I'll just try to pick them up and yeah it's basically it's working I will I will do some other tests uh, off camera and I will try to assemble some boards on video uh, and then you know I will let you know if there's any problems with the with the pump but, but for the time being I don't think so well this resistor was stuck because there's uh, some flux residues on you know on it so it kind of glues it down well I'm satisfied with it and uh, if you like this video please give me a thumbs up see you next time